How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll talk to you about how to solve the swipe up or swipe down feature isn't working on your iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro, or iPhone 14 Plus, or any other iPhone with iOS 16. Now, let me tell you the problem quickly. Many people say whenever they just try to swipe up to unlock the device, it doesn't work. At the same time, when they just try to swipe up to just come to their app switcher option, it doesn't work either. At the same time, when they just try to swipe down from the top to see the control center or the notification center, it doesn't come. Now, if you have this problem on your iPhone, don't worry. Let me go ahead and show you how to solve the problem and how you can make these system navigation features on your iPhone. So let's get started. Now to solve your problem, the very first thing that I'm gonna talk to you about is a simple thing, which is so-called the software box that can actually create the problem. Now to solve the problem quickly, just go ahead and press that volume up button and down button and quickly press and hold the power button and keep it holding unless your iPhone got a restart. All right guys, so after giving a force restart on your iPhone, your problem should be solved. However though, for some reason, if you still found your system navigation isn't working on your iPhone, then the next things I'm gonna talk to you about is called the content and privacy restriction. Sometimes turning on that feature can cause a problem. Now, if you want to solve the problem, you want to just open up your settings on your iPhone here, scroll down to your screen time, scroll down to your content and privacy restriction. If you found this content and privacy restriction is toggled on on your iPhone, simply turn it off. At the same time, you want to just get back here and scroll down to your general and also check out the software update for your iPhone. Sometimes software bugs can also cause the problem. So if you upgrade a new software version for your iPhone, it can actually solve the minor box of glitches and eventually you'll be able to solve the system navigation problem on your iPhone. So if you found a new software update, just go ahead and update it and check your problem. Now, let's say you upgrade your iPhone, but it's still you have the same problem on the right. Now you might be asking what else can you do? The last thing that I'm going to talk to you about is just simply head over to your settings, scroll down to general, and when you scroll down to your transfer and reset iPhone here, you want to tap on reset. And first of all, you got to tap on these called reset home screen layout. Now simply go ahead and tap reset there. Now it's still if you have the same problem here, lastly, just tap on reset all settings to remove all those customized settings that you have done so far on your iPhone. So giving a reset all settings on your iPhone will actually help you to solve your problem. After that, your system navigation like swipe up to unlock, swipe down to see the notification center or control center, or swipe up to get the app switcher option, everything will be working as usual. All right, guys, this is how you can solve the problem. I hope you found this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.